Damn, that's annoying, boy. This video had no audio. Oh well, <laughs> I'm down to do it again. So let's go back to looking at the new character. I'm probably gonna zoom through it, um, but I'll try to make it six minutes or less. <laughs> so when looking at his first skill, rapid attack, he attacks two targets with highest attack. So basically, something like Kid. Um, he's dealing 198% damage each. Uh, he grants attack status. Last two turns, he grants a self reflection shield. So he's uh, he's one of those characters who has um, those grant. So it's something that's definitely gonna happen for him. It's not um, RNG because uh, you know percentages can be decreased, which he also has that as a skill in here. Um, he starts with an extra damage. Units take 10% more damage last two turns. So it's um, like the hockey um, damage increase. Um, it goes away. It goes away after those two turns, but it's applied only to him. And then his reflection shield is a guaranteed skill. As that, uh, the whole team as a unit will take 30% less damage, also reflecting 30% of incoming attack. Um, it only works for the soul hero that is attacking him and non-takedown damage. Uh, so basically stuff like debuffs or DOTs or, you know, damages like that will not apply to him. I mean, they will apply to him, but those won't apply for like the reflection. So those can't be reflected. So that's that. Uh, we go and look at his first passive, Perfect Man. He has an attack plus 40%, HP plus 20% crit rate. Nice, because crit is still the meta to this day. If we're looking at his second skill, Cutter, what you're seeing from that skill is that he attacks all targets, deal 751% damage in total. All targets share this damage, um, but it's limited to 6 star. What? I don't think it's 6 star, I mean 6 Cutter's attack per target, right? So he can attack six per target. I don't know why they put that, even though um, most formations only go up to five. Up to five. So basically what what's saying is that 751% damage would be spread out amongst all five characters. But if there was a soul character um, left alone, what would happen was that damage would be um, attacked to that one unit basically so 700%, 751% would go to a single unit but if it's all five characters alive then it would be spread out until all damage comes up to 751 so that's what that skill is saying um he has that accuracy down like i was saying how accuracy can lower the percentages so something like zoro silence where it's sitting maybe at a 50 percent can be lower the nails um you know i forgot what it's called paralyzed you have yami's thunder clouds those can be lowered the same thing like Jozu's debuff to uh, your attack reduction that can be um, nerfed down by 10%. But the only thing is, I really would overlook this just because it's a 30% um, chance to happen, and the accuracy minus 10 isn't really going to be stopping anything from happening, you know, all the time. And then when we're going into his uh, last passive, Future Vision. Basically, when the battle starts, increase self crit and damage attack by 20%. Increase other four Emperor's units attack by 10%. Skill effects last till battle ends and able to be purged. So this passive is applied from the start to the end of the battle. It's non-purgeable, which really makes him like one of the best DPS characters in here. He can uh, play the role of a support character real nice. Um, just from the buffs he's giving to the team, he can play the role of a tank real nice because the reflection. And he's just... He's already a DPS, so he already plays that role, but there's other roles he can fit into nicely. Um, if you're looking at the sidebar here, you have your unit's crit damage plus 20% till battle ends, right? So even though in here it says increase self crit by 20%, it's saying in here unit. So I'm just going to wait to see um, in game what happens. If it's really going to be only him or unit, because sometimes this game does have misreadings like this and mishaps but we'll wait to see um also here the units attack plus 20 percent so it's the same thing it's saying him but it's most likely probably going to be the unit but i honestly think it might be him um then you have the units attack plus 10 percent which is the only thing that's actually true but just like boa he's increasing the the unit that he's a part of so he's a part of the four emperors so only they're getting that so if you were to put him in any other team format it wouldn't really work the same or he would play out different so i definitely think when you're looking at where you want to put him definitely a four emperor but like i said um when it comes to dps over wife this is one of the best characters we have got in a hot minute uh yeah there's nothing much i can really else say about him 
He's a great character. We just gotta wait to see how he's how he's used when he's maxed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I couldn't make it as long as the original one. It's just uh, I have to go to sleep for work tomorrow. I didn't know my audio was cut off. I'm sorry for that. That's on me. Um, but I will try to get that potential video in as well. Hopefully by the end of tomorrow night. Or maybe I'll do it today. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out.